to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to make my delicious, easy coconut tart with puff pastry. Yes, it's a mouth-watering coconut tart. It's creamy and it's so delicious. And I'm going to show you how to make my coconut tart tart coco step by step. Now, before I start, I want to show you the tart pan I'm using. It's a 10 inch removable bottom tart pan. Love these pans. And this is the one I'm going to be using for the coconut tart. Now here I have one sheet of puff pastry. It's a store bought puff pastry. It was in my freezer. I let it thaw for about 25 minutes. It's still cool. And what I'm going to do is place the puff pastry along with the parchment paper onto the tart pan, just as I'm doing here. And then what you want to do is gently tuck in the puff pastry into the tart pan, just as I'm doing here, tucking it in, firming it up on the edges. And here you can see I have extra puff pastry. I'm not going to need that. And to remove that, all I'm going to do is simply roll my rolling pin on top of the tart pan. And this is just a little easy technique that I use to remove the excess puff pastry that I'm not going to be needing. So next, what I'm going to do is just simply remove the extra puff pastry around the pan. And now that I have all my excess puff pastry removed, I'm going to cut around the parchment paper. You can see I have extra parchment paper I don't need. And I'm going to leave about an inch to an inch and a half of the paper. Now, in case you don't have a removable bottom tart pan, you can use this technique in leaving the parchment paper. And once your coconut tart has been baked, set and cool, you can then use the edges of the parchment paper to remove your coconut tart from the tart pan. Now I'm going to place this in the refrigerator and let it chill while I prepare the coconut filling. For the next step, I'm going to start off with the ingredients for the coconut filling. I'm going to start off with four large eggs. And to that, I'm going to add one and a third cup of granulated sugar. You're going to mix that together. You can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. I'm going to use a hand mixer. It's just really quick and easy, this recipe. So I'm going to use the hand mixer and Combine the sugar with the eggs until it's nice and creamy and well combined. Now once your eggs and sugar form a nice creamy mixture, at this point you're going to add one cup of coconut milk. Now this coconut milk is going to make the coconut tart so creamy. To that I'm also going to add one cup of milk. And this is 2% milk I'm using here, but you can also use whole milk. Once you've added your milk, you're going to continue mixing for about 30 seconds. And then at that point, you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I always like to add a little vanilla for a little extra flavor. Now I'm just going to quickly mix the vanilla in there. And at this point, I'm going to add two cups of unsweetened coconut and I'm using shredded coconut. Now I'm just going to mix the coconut in for another 15, 20 seconds. And once that coconut is well combined in the mixture, I'm going to use a spatula just to quickly uh, scrape down the edges, make sure the coconut's not at the bottom. And once that's done, we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, I've removed the tar pan from the refrigerator. All I need to do is pour the coconut mixture right into the tar pan. At this point, I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now I just want to scrape down the bowl, make sure I have all the coconut in there. Mm, it smells amazing and it's going to taste even better. It's such a easy tart as you can see. Now we're ready to place it in the oven and I'm going to bake it for 50 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After 50 minutes, here is my coconut tart. It's creamy on the inside and toasty on the outside. I'm gonna let it set and cool for approximately 30 minutes before I remove it from the tart pan. I waited about a half hour. I removed it from the tart pan. Now, before I cut into it, normally I would wait a couple of hours until it completely sets because it is a creamy coconut tart but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to cut into it and show you how creamy the coconut tart really is. So let me cut into it and get a slice. This is gonna be my slice. And I'm going to just show you what it looks like. Look at this. It's a delightful, delicious, creamy coconut tart. 
Now the coconut tart has not completely set, but I can tell you if you take a bite of this coconut tart, it will absolutely melt in your mouth. And let me show you what it looks like inside. The combination of the puff pastry and the coconut, mm, let's take a bite. Wow, absolutely delicious. And there you have it, everyone. That's how I make my coconut tart. Uh, it's made with puff pastry. As you can see, it's really easy to make. It's not a dry coconut tart. It's creamy with some coconut added to it. It's when you place it in your mouth, oh, and you try the puff pastry, what the actual coconut, it's got some like creaminess to it. Mm, absolutely mouth-watering. I can have this dessert every day, any day. I love coconut. It's one of my favorite ingredients for desserts. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed my coconut tart recipe, Taft Coco. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Yeah.